today, say you said, I'm going to go train and I'm going to go bring the coaches and I'm going to do real training. Like, you know how you go ask certain yeah. people like, hey, did Masvidal really train this for going up against this? Yeah, he did. He was really, oh, this this person, that guy really wasn't training. No shit he lost. Why didn't he only do one week of training? You kind of process yeah. that, right? Say you go and three to six months, you fully prepare to fight, okay? And say there is a fight with you against Connor or against Khabib, those two names. If a fight was with you against Connor at their age today, and say Khabib agreed and said he wants to come back. We know it's not going to happen. He said he's not going to do it because when his father died, he promised his mom that he's not going to come back. And you're saying 100% you're not going to do it even for $30 million. Yeah. You say you would do it for $100 million, right? <laughs> not for no, 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 yeah. no money. Yeah. But, but if, if it did and you did train, we know it's not going to happen. But if it did, do you think you could beat a Connor or a Khabib today? If you did go six months training and they did as well. Well, if I have the 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 same the motivation to do it, yeah, I believe so. Oh, so even at this age, you think you can beat oh, Khabib yeah, yeah. and Connor yeah, if yeah. you did? If I have the motivation to go to another And training, you don't want to do it? No, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I, I don't have the heart. I don't want to yeah. have the, the, but, the, and, the but motivation you, of doing you were, it. You, I mean, you were kind of tying in the age factor with the motivation. I don't think no, it's I, the age, though. It's, I don't it's, think it's not the, the fight, age. guys. It's, it's, it's the, I don't want to take yeah, the beating. Two months of my life getting, I, I don't want to waste two months of my life doing this. I just don't want to put me through the stress, through the the the, the, the grind of doing this again. Do you want to be in the hunt for another thing in your life again, or are you done being in the oh, hunt? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the hunt. What, what are you in the hunt for? Like hunt at that level of a hunt. I, I'm a, as a human being, and I'm sure you guys, is the same for you. I, the key for me is to be happy, is to... to to reach the to be the person that I want to be. And and I remember when I was a kid, I was looking at myself in the mirror, and I didn't not, I did not like what I used to see. I hate it. I don't I didn't like myself. And I was a kid at the time, I was bullied. I, I was a kid who lacked a lot of self-confidence. I didn't have a good image of myself. And I I remember that I had a vision. And, and I had a vision of who I wanted to become. Not, I'm not talking about champion and, 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 and physical. So I'm talking about, about mental, like as a person. And I fall in love with that image that I want to become. So that's what helps me to, get, to, to go through my day at the time when it was hard for me at the time because I didn't have the knowledge that I, that I have now. And I'm still not that person that perfect ideal person that I want to become, you know, I'm I'm better than I was, but I'm s still lacking a lot of a lot of thing, you know. For example, I'm I'm not a very patient person. I'm more patient than I used to be, but I'm not, you know, things like this. That the the, the idea person that I visualized when I was a kid, and it changed over the year. I'm still not there. I still, you know, I want to become that person. I'm still working towards it, and I'm not talking about championship and stuff like that. this just helped me to become more confident change it's bigger than fighting yes yeah, exactly it's better GSP, than the human the person yeah now i'm fighter. more i'm more of an entrepreneur i'm more you know it's, it's different my, my life has changed but it, it molded me to become a different person and i'm i'm still not there yet i'm still working to become that person but you're but are you in a hunt for something outside of that i mean i understand because even in life one can be in the hunt for what you're doing. Like I, as a man, I am in the hunt to really be curious to know what the 50-year-old PBD is going to be. I'm 43, right? Now. I can't wait to meet my 50-year-old Patrick with David. I want to see what I'm going to be like. Yeah. I, I'm so excited to meet that guy. I'm patient. The next seven years, it can go as slow as possible. I'm cool with it. <laughs> but I'm excited about it, right? I'm looking forward to it because I want to see what next development I'm going to have as I recreate myself. But I'm talking about outside of that, you know, are you in the hunt for something, a sport, a business? Like, Khabib is doing what he's doing. Eddie Hearn and Jake Paul are sitting there. Eddie's telling Jake, hey, you're an average boxer at best, but that's still a compliment. And Jake, so they're in the hunt for something. You know, Dana's in the hunt for something. Joe is in the hunt for something. He's in a podcast game, and he's doing what he's doing, right? Everybody's in the hunt for something. What are you in the hunt for right now? I, I believe I, I'm in the hunt to, to first to be healthy. This thing is the most. I think to be, in order to be happy, one of the most important things is to be, to be healthy, to be loved, to be the love, the 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 health. I think it's part of happiness and freedom. 
we're never 100% free. You know, we always have responsibility. And for me, I use fighting as a benchmark to to have more freedom, to to be able to do what I what I do. And I'm still not satisfied yet. You know what I mean? I'm still working to be more free, to be have more. Uh, in, when I say freedom, it's not necessarily money. Money help you to be free because you 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 can buy things and sometimes you can have a, a better lifestyle. You know, a quality of life through it. But it, that's not the only thing that makes you happy. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think that's what it is. And 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 I have knowledge that I have now that I'm glad that I have. But I wish I would have had before. You know what I mean? Stuff that I've I've learned that changed my life. That, that man. I, there's so much stuff like like I wish I would have. Do you know what I'm asking I, though? I, do you know what I'm asking? You know what I'm asking? Like, do, you, do you know what I'm asking? Like here's what I'm asking. Like I'm asking, I I, is there a space? Not personal, not like enlightenment, which is I mean, we're all searching enlightenment because we want to get a little bit more clarity in life or freedom, making more money. But are you? Because again, you're 41 and you're very young, right? Yeah. Are you? Are you? in the hunt to give your best to like, for example, are we going to see a GSP podcast coming out and that's what you're going to do for the next few years because you want to build a podcast and you want to go out there. Is it going to be, you know what? I, I like what uh, uh, Dana is doing. I feel like I can give back yeah. to the UFC world by doing X, Y, Z. I feel like I can go out there and do build one of the best uh, training facilities where young fighters come and I shape their mindset and I develop one of the best schools around the world to teach trainer, to teach yeah. fighters how to really fight. What's that next thing with you? Uh, for me, I think it would be to to pass down my knowledge, you know, knowledge uh, that I ac acquire over the years um, in order to help the next generation to to get better, to surpass the present generation. And um, I think it's Einstein, he says, if I... If I'm if I can see further than my predecessor is because I, I'm standing on shoulder of giant mm -hmm. and it's I think it's true in sport as well I I think what I can do to help the next generation is in a way for me I'm working now on a project with doing instructional video I'm gonna that's one thing I'm gonna do and I'm gonna be able to to teach my knowledge to 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 certain people that can that it will help them to not make the same mistake that I did. Yeah. So they 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 have a head start already. So that that's why, when you talk about, for example, sport and performance and business, anything, why performance get better? It's not because the guy is better. It's because they have a head start. Mm. They they learn from their predecessors. And I think it's the same thing in everything. And 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 I think it's my duty, mm -hmm. in order to try to help the to make the world better, to, 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 to pass down that knowledge. Who do you think? How, how I, I, I'm able to, sometimes I mentally, a lot of guys after they retire, they, they, they become kind of depressed because they don't have that high anymore. Right. How I overcome that, you know, I, I use fasting and cold Im water immersion to, to do this. Uh -huh. And people are like, ah, oh, it's kind of stupid, but it's not stupid in a way, I mm. can explain. Yeah. Sometimes in life, some people like they they feel depressed or or you know they have some problems. Everybody has problems. Even if you don't have that much of a problem, you might feel like you have a lot of problem. But one thing that helps me with fasting and cold water immersion is these. I put myself voluntary into that stress. When you haven't eat for a certain amount of days, and if you try that, ask your doctor first. For me, I, it helped me mentally. It's very therapeutic because when you haven't eaten for a certain amount of days, it's it's a very uh, basic uh, thing that you're fighting. You're fighting against starvation. You know what I mean? So all your problems, like will, all your your little problem, will go away and focus only on the problem that you're fighting of starvation. So so it's not the the fasting that will help you that will be therapeutic for you it's your when you break the fast when you mm. eat you will it will make you appreciate life and how it will make you realize how insignificant those little problems that you have are same thing when you're in a cold water immersion you're fighting hypothermia i think it's a little you know ironic I mean? as you're talking about starvation and pat had to have a little bite of food right there yeah <laughs> my get, protein yeah, but if, uh, if you believe you will achieve yeah well, well, and I'm, I'm really glad that you kind of revisited the conversation because you said what, what's the next step with you gsp and he said well you know i want to be healthy and you're like no but like what do you really want and the answer that you gave was you want to coach 
You want to help the youth. N not coach. Uh, I, I don't have. I don't think I have the patience to be a good coach. To 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 be one on one a good coach. Yeah. To pass down. Pass my down wisdom. Yes. So n nowadays you. you I remember when I wanted to learn jiu-jitsu, I need to physically attempt a mm -hmm. class of jiu-jitsu. That's what, that's what it was in my days when I first started. Yeah. Nowadays, a kid can take his cell phone. Yeah. Oh, you want to learn watch an video. You want to learn an unbar. Oh, you look online. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.